In this week's episode of the What Remains podcast, art meets science. Have you ever wondered how an artist does an accurate composite picture of someone who's dying? There's a lot that goes into it. It's not as easy as you might think. WREL's Amanda Lamb lets us know when we can expect and what we can expect out of episode eight. When facial reconstruction artists Gina Berry and Mike Mullins begin the process of trying to identify someone, it all begins with a skull. Skeletal remains found in, I think it was Harriman State Park, which is comprised of Rockland, Orange County. And um, they shipped me the skull. And uh, the first thing I did was call Gina. They use scientific charts to picture what someone may have looked like when they were alive. I mean, what's orbit. interesting to me as you guys are talking through this is that there's really a lot of science involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't just art. I mean, this is science meets art. Yep. Right. I yeah. mean, now there's now it's there's three charts that we choose from when we do this. Yeah, that's not something we, we make up. We're going by scientific measurements that were mm -hmm. done years and years ago of various races. And when their pictures ultimately help solve a mystery of who someone is, there's nothing better. Could be somebody's daughter, somebody's son, you know, somebody's mother. So you want to do the best you can to help you know, give this person a name so that the family can have some peace. From WREL Studios, this is What Remains, where we'll dig into the stories of connecting unidentified human remains to the missing and the murdered. I'm Amanda Lamb. You can listen to episodes one through eight of What Remains on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your, your podcasts. The entire season is available to binge on Wondery Plus ad-free. And additional information, blogs, and transcripts can be found at whatremainspodcast.com.